Urticaria is an itchy swelling of the skin and it's often referred to as wheels or hives. The cause and appearance of urticaria is due to an edema or a swelling in the superficial layer of the skin which results in a well-defined arithmetous red lesion. The cause of urticaria can be due to an allergic reaction, an infection or some kind of physical stimulus. However, sometimes there is no specific cause. About 20% of the population are affected by urticaria and it can sometimes occur in single episodes or it can be chronically recurrent. Let's look at how urticaria occurs pathophysiologically. So the cause is due to the release of histamine, bradykinin and pro-inflammatory mediators which are released from mast cells, basophils in response to triggers. These molecules which are released cause capillaries and venules to leak resulting in an edema or a swelling in the area affected. And this usually lasts until the fluid is absorbed by surrounding cells. It's also been noted that these mast cells can be directly triggered by an allergen and activated by the complement system. It's also known that some people who have hives also have some kind of autoimmune disease. So what happens is they have autoantibodies which bind onto FC receptors on mast cells. Normally these FC receptors bind with antibodies associated with allergies like IgE and that stimulates an allergic response and that's a true allergy and that's there to protect the body. However, the autoantibodies bind onto the FC receptors kind of tricking the mast cells into thinking that an allergen is present and this can happen frequently. So mast cells start releasing histamine as though there's an allergy even though there isn't. Urticaria may also develop due to excessive exposure to sun and also to high pressure onto the skin. The general management of urticaria is avoiding trigger factors so it's important to be aware of food intake, topical medications and creams and insects. Patients can manage their own symptoms by buying over-the-counter antihistamines like cetirizine or loratadine. If the urticaria is very severe, then a combination of H1 receptor blockers, H2 blockers and leukotriene receptor antagonists are also taken to control the symptoms. In certain cases, oral corticosteroids may also be prescribed. If a patient is at further risk at developing swellings which may cause respiratory distress or difficulty in breathing, and, th and that's because of the allergic reaction, it's advised to carry adrenaline or an EpiPen in the case of anaphylactic shock. And this is injected intramuscularly, but only in cases of life-threatening situations.